Just take a look at this beautiful frame and especially the intense color on the black is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, Julie, you have to show us how you made this. So easy, you're gonna start with the domino and you're gonna flip it to the blank side. And then I'm just gonna grab a sticker. These are vinyl stickers and they're laser cut so you don't have to worry about ripping them or anything. You just grab a hold. Oops, I got a little bit of the center there. Just gonna grab a hold of the corner peel it right off. And then here's the important thing. When I put it down on my domino, I'm gonna go ahead and anything that hangs off, I'm just gonna fold that on over. And that's part of the nice thing about using these three dimensional right. objects uh -huh. is we're gonna get a real sort of 360 degree look at this, okay? That's so basically it's just an outline. Yes, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. It's gonna make me look like an amazing artist. <laughs> you are an amazing artist. Oh, thanks. Come on. <laughs> so I'm using a paint pen and it has two sides and I'm gonna use the smaller tip which has the smaller cap, mm -hmm. so easy to find. And what I'm gonna do is, this is the only part you have to be a little bit careful about. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sort of outline. This is kind of like, you know when you're painting a room and you tape out the room and then you yeah. paint real uh -huh. close to the tape and then the rest of it's done with a right. roller? That's exactly what this is. If you do go on top of the vinyl sticker here, I am gonna tell you that these are pigment-based pens and they are permanent, so it is gonna end up on there. Mm -hmm. But I would say don't worry about it. There are plenty of times on that other frame when I went right over and nobody even it's noticed. Not, no Noticeable you at can't all. tell. And when you get to the edges, the only special thing to note is just tip it up and then you can easily cover those sides as well so that you cover the whole thing and you go around everywhere. Just get in there. Just going all the see. way around the outside. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and again, this is another one of those things. You can totally get the kids involved with this. You can, you know, do this very easily, you know, when you're relaxing or hanging out. This is an easy one to do. Oh, this is nice when you're sitting by the fireside, your feet up on the coffee yeah, table. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Cool. So then the nice thing about this pen is obviously because it has the two tips, now is the part where, like I said in the room, you're going to go with the roller. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just taking the big sweeping strokes and I don't have to think about it because all those little tiny areas are already filled in and I'm going to go right across here. And I have one over here that's a little more done already, mm -hmm. as you can see. And you can see that I have covered all the sides. Right. And as you can see, I've rolled the butterfly sticker right over those edges. Right. You know what? I love the way it maintains the shine. Me with too. With that marker. Me that's too. Adorable. I think it's so nice. Mm -hmm. So then I'm going to take a pen, and it has to be a pen that's going to be okay on this neon porous surface. And this is a pen that's going to dry shiny, sort of like stained glass, which I really like. And what I'm going to do is I'm just starting it here on the paper to make sure that the ink is flowing well. Because what my goal is, is in each of these holes that the sticker has created, I want to create a pool of color. And while that pool is wet, I'm going to come in with a second color and I'm going to add some color to it. And now can you see how those are oh, starting going to, to blend, blend together. into each right. other? In other words, exactly. they're bleeding into each other, but that's the yes. effect that we want, right? And sometimes if you come in with the lighter color, you can really get it to stroke in even more, which is nice. But would you actually always start with the lighter color first, or does it really matter? You know, I have a lot of trouble with always because I don't really follow <laughs> there rules There are no too rules, well. right, when we're crafting. But, I mean, I think it's generally a good idea to start, you know, light and then mm -hmm. get darker because you can always add more dark. It's hard to add more light. So now you can see I'm coming in with the yellow and look how that turned green and with the blue. And you get the blue and yellow yeah. make green. And by the Perfect. way, I just totally broke the rule and I went from blue to yellow, but <laughs> I know you won't tell anyone. No, I promise. <laughs> and yellow is one of my favorite colors to use on these because it just blends out so nicely, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it just mixes with the other colors so well and look how that pink and that yellow are going to make orange, which is absolutely lovely. And you can feel free to mix a lot of colors. You don't have to stick to a single color palette or are there, you know, any rules like that? You just kind of play with it. You know go what? I'm going to play too. I'm just you should just Come enamored on. watching Jump you. In. I'd love to try this. It's really fun and easy. And you know, again, this is something that anybody can do, and it really makes you look like you are a super artist. Well, like I say, the thing that really strikes me about the color and strikes me about the frame mm -hmm. is just the intensity of that color. Yes. It is so bright. It's absolutely gorgeous. Julie. I love it. And you know that these vinyl stickers also come in silver, mm -hmm. so you're not limited to just doing gold if you like silver a little bit more, you know?
And you know, if you look at the frame too, I have so, there are so many different designs and different choices. Very cool. And I love the fact that you can't go outside the lines. Yes. <laughs> yes. Julie, thank you so much. Well, we'll be right back.